There was a welcome return of sunshine to Beijing as the China Open reached the semi-final stages. The first semi-final pitted the number one seed Andy Murray against David Ferrer. Murray had beaten the Spaniard in their last six meetings, but he found himself a breakdown early. However, it didn't last for long. Got him. Kim Murray. An emphatic response from the reigning Wimbledon and Olympic champ. Having gained a foothold in the set, the Scot then began to exert control. That's a beautiful backhand. Murray stepping in, loading up well, and unwinding to deliver a, an unstoppable backhand. Uh, good combination from Andy Murray. Nice approach, excellent first volley, and then a simple tap to finish it off. The first set in the bag after 48 minutes of attritional tennis, Murray was still finding Ferret a tough nut to crack. A point longest rally of the match 26 strokes and I reckon Murray might just have got to Ferrer's pass had he not slipped just watch this as Murray plays the cross court he actually loses his footing slightly but after Murray registered the go-ahead break in the sixth game he then turned up the heat The world number two still yet to drop a set and looking in ominous form. Andy Murray breaks new ground in Beijing. The top seed and reigning Wimbledon and Olympic champion is through to his first final at the China Open and he's done it in style. Once again he has the better of his friend and rival David Ferrer. A lot of long rallies, um, long games, and um, yeah, both of us had to do a lot of a uh, lot of running, and um, yeah, it was it was tough, but managed to, to get through it. And you know, it was a three two game in the second set was very important. Um, after he just broken me, managed to get the break straight back, and you know, kept the momentum on my side. But it was it was a hard match. Sadly, Milos Raonic had to withdraw from his semi final match against Grigor Dimitrov. After he failed to recover from the ankle injury, he sustained in his quarter-final victory over Pablo Carreño Busta. However, we were still left with a mouth-watering final, with both Murray and Dimitrov aiming for a first China Open title. <laughs>